All right, it's gonna be a messy one today. We're doing caliber comparison here with uh, shotgun slugs on these chickens here, raw chickens. Uh, we've got 410 here, uh, 20 gauge and 12 gauge. Ammunition I'm using today, it'll be a matching brand. Got uh, these Winchesters here. So we have the three inch for the 410, uh, quarter ounce, as you can see there. 20 gauge, three quarter ounce. Winchester rifled slug, just like the 410. And for the 12 gauge, one ounce Winchester rifled slug. I thought that was neat. These used to be, I don't know if it's like plated brass, but they used to be brass and it's this weird color. So I don't know if they switched uh, uh, metal or if it's just coated. I don't know. Anyways, those are the slugs we're using. So I'm gonna get these set up down here, just about 15 yards on that stump there. Hit them with all three. I don't think there's gonna be much left, guys. So we'll have the GoPro down there, get some slow motion, uh, slow motion footage from both cameras. And that's probably gonna be the determining factor there. Although obviously 20 gauge is more powerful than 410 and 12 gauge is more powerful than 20 gauge, but it'll still be something cool and fun to see. So let me get set up here and we'll get started. All right, here we go with the 410. From back here, you can see about a fist size hole. This is a really cool clip right here with the 20 gauge. Uh, if you pay close attention and I'll zoom in and try to show it and all that. After the bullet, or at least a good chunk of it, exits the chicken, it hits my little popper target out there. 20 gauge. Obviously, 12 gauge. <laughs> oh, my God. That that was like a 50 foot radius. It went everywhere and pieces even came back at me. I thought I was going to get hit for a second. It was just enormous i actually did have two pieces laying right next to me on the deck and one of them you can actually see in the video if you look closely enough fly right off to the right side of me That was nice. <laughs> oh man, I don't think there's even anything left of that. Well, okay, maybe over there. <clears throat> so the 410, I don't even know how. It went off to the right. And uh, so, well, there's a hole there. No, it's just tore. Hit off the right with the 410. I thought, honestly, yeah, we're going to hit this with the 410 again. Um, it should have blown it up because i've shot one of these before without it being in the bag and it had a few rim fire holes in it and it blew up pretty good <coughs> i mean not like that but and 
yeah, we'll set this up and hit it again with the 410 because it looks like it just barely nicked the side of it there. I don't even know how that happened because I swear I was holding dead center when I hit. Um, there's the 20 gauge. And, jeez. Oh, By the way, I'm trying to salvage some of this. Uh, it won't be much to salvage, but hey, I got a leg there I can eat. And it's just, uh, yeah. Hopefully we got some, ooh, yeah. I think it was clean on the 20 gauge, but the, the 12 gauge definitely misted it with uh, some nastiness there. And I'm surprised there's anything left of this. Was this from the 20 gauge? It what? That was the last one? Yeah. Okay, that was from the last one. So surprisingly, there was something left because when I hit it, it sure didn't look like anything was left, but you guys will be able to see it in the camera better than me. But this is just a bloopy bloppy mess here. So apparently that's all that's left from the 12 gauge. And that is just a riddled mess there. So I'll take another shot here with the 410. It should make that pop a decent amount. Obviously not as much as the 20 gauge, but I know it does more damage than that with a center hit. So we'll make sure we get a center hit this time. I hit him before, like I said, like 10, 11 years ago. I got a real super old video. It should be in the 410 playlist if you want to check it out. And it uh, did a lot more than that. Let's see where to hit this time. Oh, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, well, there you have it. So I actually forgot to film the ending for this video, so just do a quick little voiceover here. Uh, if you guys want to see a review video for these shotguns, I'll try to put a link to each one in the description. If you want to get yourself any of the products you see me use in any of the videos, uh, links in the description for that as well. As I stated earlier, I had just done this with uh, Rimfire Rifles, 22 Long Rifle, 22 Mag, 17 HMR. And I also did it with Centerfire Pistols, 389mm, 40-45. If you want to see that, check out the Caliber Comparison playlist on the channel. I'm also going to be doing this with Center Fire Rifle coming up. Uh, 223, 556, 760 by 39, 270 Winchester, 450 Bushmaster. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching as always. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. And I hope to catch you on the next one.